Oh, yes. Woo, the acceleration on this thing. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Peter's Auto Block. Hope everybody's having a fantastic day. Today, guys, I wanted to share my experience of driving for the first time a Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT. Now, this one that we have with us, guys, it is a fourth generation, not the new generation, but this is special because, of course, this has got the 6.4 liter Hemi engine. Now, before we go on, guys, I want to give a big shout out to Barto Ford for allowing me some time with this SRT Cherokee. This is part of their used car inventory. Uh, it is a 2020 SRT Jeep Grand Cherokee. This guy just under 55,000 miles and I believe they're asking just above $60,000. I'll put all those numbers up for you guys on the screen but a big shout out to them guys. I'll put all their information and in, link to their website in the description below. All right, so what we have with us here, guys, gonna get to the point. I'm gonna do a full review of this uh, Cherokee since this is a pretty well-known vehicle, but we're gonna get to the nitty of it. So what we have, you guys, is a 2020 Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT. Uh, fantastic color as well. This is called Stingray Clear Coat. It does have also the caramel color, which is called Sophia or Sophia. I might pronounce it, but it's a fantastic looking vehicle. I've always been a big, big fan of this uh, SRT's uh, Cherokees look fantastic, look aggressive. I think it's a very handsome design, even though this Jeep Grand Cherokee being on its fourth, or this is the fourth generation Cherokee, it's been with us since about 2011. So the SRT model has been with us since about 2000, about the same time, but this design has been with us about since 2017. Now, of course, what's special about this SRT? Of course, down under the hood, we got the 6.4 liter Stellantis biggest V8 engine, the Hemi engine with about 475 horsepower we got all wood, a four-wheel drive system on this girl 20 inch wheels as you can see wrapped around some pirelli scorpion tires of the horse the handsome you know the kind of look of the jeep grand cherokee that everybody knows but really like it the way these are some led lights in the back of course we got dual exhaust here. we get a little bit of the future here in the back with the srt logo really a fantastic looking suv uh, in my opinion one of the most handsome suv that you can get obviously we got the srt back here as you can see now of course we got the uh, track hawk model as well with the 707 horsepower uh hellcat well, engine now, of course, now, of course we got the new fifth generation grand cherokee which we don't have a there is a v8 version of it but we don't have an srt version of that any longer on the fifth one so i hope that uh, even though you know, fortunately, you know, uh, I would say Stellantis is the parent company of, of Jeep, of course, and all those performance products. They're not going to have any more V8. So I'm thinking that this is probably the last generation that, you know, the, the last SUV that's going to have this type of engine in it. So and unfortunately, so, but of course, you know, being a 2020, 2021 was the last year they built these things, obviously before the new fifth generation Grand Cherokee came up. So the place are basically all the same. There really weren't any changes from 2019, 20, and 21. So, so. taking a look at this wheel, tire, and brake combo as you can see we have 295 millimeter thick Pirelli Scorpion Verde tires these are all season performance tires inside of course we got no, of course here we got the nice eight the 20 inch wheel which is basically a mate black this thing is it got some dust in it it's kind of rainy day today here in Florida 15 inch rotor here as you can see and we got six piston Bremo caliper so this has got some serious stopping power of course this is a pretty heavy pretty good vehicle now behind the suspension now this SR, SRT Cherokees does have a sports in suspension but also have adaptive dampers as well so it's got plenty of uh, not only straight line speed but also handling as well now obviously, obviously this is a 5,000 pound SUV so you're not expecting it to be a sports car but Jeep has you know straightened the suspension department so we have a little better handling much more set down and more stable ride so as you can see here in the back right four piston calipers here really awesome the way this looks nice and thick tires love the way this stance is right, let's go ahead and really take a quick awesome. look at that hemi engine as you can see look at the interior this is awesome this is the two-tone caramel sophia uh interior which is looks one of the really nicest interiors let's go ahead guys and pop the hood and check out that hemi engine 
All right, so coming here to the engine, of course we got hydraulic shocks. Thank you, Jeep, for including those. So here we go, guys, 6.4 liter Hemi V8, normally aspirated, 475 horsepower, 470 pound-feet of torque, going through the four-wheel drive system that this Jeep Cherokee has as a full-time of a four-wheel drive. This is going through an eight-speed automatic transmission as well, so put all the power down. Fantastic engine, guys. What can you say? This is, you know, one of the biggest, if the biggest engines that Stellantis has to offer on this SUV. So of course, you know, 2023 is the last year. You can only get right now the Durango for 2023 as this model has been. Of course, we got the fifth gen now, a Jeep Grand Cherokee, but of course, they don't have an SRT version of this one, unfortunately. So, but fantastic engine, guys. Lots of power, lots of torque, big, fat, juicy V engine. Of course, the other engine you can get uh, with the regular Jeep Grand Cherokee. You also have a V6 as well, the Pansar V6. And of course, you can go to the Hellcat 6. 2 liter supercharger v8 as well fuel mileage uh, you don't buy these things for fuel mileage basically you're, you're looking at about 17 16 no uh, excuse me you're getting around 15 miles per gallon in a city and about 19 in a highway depending uh, depending on a little higher I might be off but i'll put those numbers up for you guys on the screen but all right guys there we go fantastic engine let's go ahead and drop the hood and there we go. we go let's go ahead and check out the rear hatch area of this cherokee so of course we have the key here with us as you can see regular key best rt badge there open close remote start and of course we got the double click to open up the rear hatch pretty good size room obviously there's you know, quite a bit of you know the same size of an explorer you know an x5 something like that now, of course, here in the back, we get about 36 cubic feet of space. It's not bad at all for this type of SUV. Uh, really, it's the perfect size, you know, obviously this is not no seven seater, say an SN Explorer is, but got plenty of room in here in the back. Now, just taking a rear, of course, we got some weather, well, weather tech floor mat, which is one awesome, awesome floor mats. As you can see, guys, we have the button here to put the latch down. We have here some hooks. We have here a 12 volt connection. So both are part of your Alpine system, and uh, but it's pretty good size overall. Obviously, if we lift this up here, we got a little more room here. Let me just go ahead and lift this up. As you can see, guys, we have a looks like a full size spare here in the back, which is awesome. Glad you have a spare tire here. So as you can see, guys, plenty of room. Love that interior. That caramel color interior is fantastic. So, but there we go, guys. Pretty good size room for this. Uh, SUV and this Cherokee and let's go ahead and put this down press the button and I'll I'm gonna, you can do it with the key as well but you can just press the button and you can go down as well as you can see you got the dual key. So here we have the dual exhaust rear camera and this one also is equipped with the sunroof as well with the optional sunroof so but an awesome looking SUV. Now just taking a quick look at the interior of this Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT this is an awesome interior this is called the Sophia black combo so obviously it's a combo of the caramel color and the black now as you can see we got all kinds of suede here in the bottom and on the side really nice the way this is a little bit of carbon fiber trim here as you can see as well really really, really love the way all this looks very sporting of course the seats are awesome really goes well with this color with this stingray and of course caramel just fantastic way it does as you can see here we have the sunroof it is recline and all that stuff as well which is really nice i mean plenty of seating here in the back plenty of room awesome interior color and uh that's about it guys so as you can see here in the back we do have some connections as well ac outlets we got a usb connections and also some heat teeters as well so fantastic option for this that should be as you can see love this interior color and you can also get a black color as well but this is i think this is the best color to get the sophia color for the interior so all right guys let's go ahead and get inside Let's go ahead, guys, and check out the interior of this Jeep Grand Cherokee. Now, just a reminder, this one has the best about 55,000 miles. So as you can see, this is how held up pretty well. Now, I do love this interior color. I mean, just the suede, everything is done so really nice. I love this, this caramel color. You can see we got some caramel fiber, the aluminum trim. Uh, really awesome. Lots of space to put your drinks here. Of course, you got this, basically here your speaker, SRT badge here in the door sill, and just look at that interior, guys. It's really, really, really impressive that the way this has not worn anymore. 55,000 miles on a vehicle is obviously it's not a ton, but um, you know it is quite you know for for a vehicle this yeah this definitely got some uses to it. But look at the interior; it's really nice. Whoever had this before had took really well care of it, so as you can see, not much of a wear and tear on this vehicle at all. Pretty impressed, but an awesome interior, guys. This guy, if you can see the wheels a little bit turtle, but we have some nice uh, leather steering wheel. That's it's the suede here feels fantastic i love the color srt embroidered into the seats uh fantastic interior overall so all right guys let's go ahead guys and uh, right, jump so in so we're inside of this jeep grand cherokee srt i love i really have always loved this interiors of this jeep grand cherokees very nice the well they laid out uh especially in this one here this srt is, of course got the fantastic sapia color or this caramel color interior the seats got some pretty good size bolstering and i just love the way this color contrasts with the black so this is kind of the black combo really really awesome interior let's go ahead guys and uh, get this cheap Cherokee started it's quite impressed the red or red start button here as you can see we got some performance pedals here in the back and you can hear that engine is starting oof let's go ahead and straighten out the wheel 
so we can take a look at this beautiful leather carpet steering wheel pretty thick as you can see it's perforated as well we got some pedals here in the back all consoles for your switches and all the stuff that you can see here on the screen here as you can see we got like a 16 uh, 16 inch screen here in the in the middle the commodore in the middle we got your you know speedometer here in the left we got some all-topic gauges not really awesome interior that this still even though it's older still i really like this interior of course of course the new one if you see the new jeep grand Cherokee the k5 generation it's got all kinds of screens much more elegant interior but i still love this interior of this uh fourth generation Cherokee. let's go ahead guys and hear this v8 oh yeah oh that sounds nice that is off oh love that hemi v8 so all right guys so let's go ahead and uh, close the doors you can see look at all that suede all that carbon fiber really looks good i want to drop down the windows just a little bit to give us a little more lighting and i'm going to put on my seat belt because we're going to go out for a test drive and uh, just coming to take a look at this interior guys, real quick here as you can see we got the 8.4 inch uh, system you connect screen of course you got navigation we got media uh, of course you got heated and cool seats you got all kinds of things heated steering wheel all the belts and whistles that are you know this high level of uh jeep current cherokee gives you of course you got the glove box here as you can see pretty branching it's a pretty new vehicle to be honest even with 55,000 miles not a lot as you can see look at the look at the uh, silver interior really no nowhere at all i'm surprised how well this uh, jeep can Cherokee has held up even with 55,000 miles. No, no small mileage, but uh, everything's uh, yeah, it's a little bit on the, on the can tell on the steering wheel. But other, other than that, this is a pretty well taken care of interior. Now, of course, we got 12 way power seats that I'm gonna adjust, and we got a, also a automatic tilting and telescoping steering wheel. Of course, as I mentioned, we got navigation. Also, we got performance settings. You can see uh, it's going to take just a little bit to go to that menu, but all kinds of performance pages you can see. You can see the G meter. You can see all kinds of things, all kinds of things. I'm not going to bore you with all that performance. Everybody knows this this this, this car's pretty well. Uh, of course, we got dual Sony AC as well. We got all kinds of sensors that you can pull off here. We got a little, little close in the door with aluminum, two USB connections, auxiliary, and a 12 volt couple cup holders eight speed automatic and of course you're down the bottom we got your drive modes we got sport track normal we got of course drive modes uh, custom all kinds of things you can do and of course also launch control i'm not think i'll mess with the launch control since it's a little wet and this is not my car this is borrowed from bar to four so i'm gonna just gonna experience it to see how this engine feels and overall but so here we got the performance pages now that's loaded up of course we can go to gauges as you can see we got 98 still temperatures are low it's a pretty cool day in florida here uh, even though we're in march we got the g-force meter I mean, I got engine, also, you know, PSI, all that kind of stuff, which is all great things you can do. Um, just, you know, fantastic settings the way this, this Jeep Grand Cherokee is. So, as you can see, guys, coming up here, we got the panoramic summer, which is an option on this one. So, we, of course, here we got the micro suede headliner, which is black, which is awesome. Really, really looks, feels fantastic. Of course, you got all controls here for your um, sunroof and all that kind of stuff, lights, all that kind of things as well. And, of course, we do have also mirrors here done. So, pretty well, pretty well laid. I love this interior. The seats feel fantastic, comfortable and uh but uh, all right guys here what we're here to do let's go ahead and go and get to drive the zone before we go on let's go ahead and test out the reverse camera now as you can see it might be a little wet because obviously it's been raining so the trajectory lines are pretty clear we got some pretty good trajectory lines uh the the, the image is pretty clear it's got a really nice quality camera i really like it it might be a little wet but overall not bad at all there, i don't see any type of modifications you can do to the screen or the camera angles but basically at least you got a rear view camera so all right guys, let's go ahead and uh now of course we drive into the menu settings here it's before we go on let's put it hold on a second so we got sport we got auto we got snow we ran snow and we got tow we're not gonna tow today but let's go back to auto sport track i'm gonna put on track let's put it on sport and see how this this grow behaves we got all four-wheel drive system in this as well even though it's a little wet today this is exactly the type of uh you know weather that's a little slight weather damp weather that this cherokee might be really good at so since this is a, a performance model lots of horsepower 475 horsepower as you can see the tint is pretty dark so that's why i rolled on the windows a little bit because even though we got the sunroof gets a little more lighting this is uh, still a pretty quick vehicle and i want to give you guys a little more light to this camera one it's gonna shine black so all right guys on board this awesome cherokee now, of course we got the paddles here as well but we can just leave it in just in auto just to enjoy and feel this girl and see how she feels really smooth powertrain so far really feels feels buttoned down already even though i'm just barely driving it here um, let's go out this way well, there comes an ambulance let's go ahead guys and go very very easy shifts
lasting grips. I mean, you can tell it's pretty, pretty stable. I mean, it doesn't even trend there. Pretty, I would say the suspension is a little bit stiffer, but that still feels pretty comfortable at low speeds. But wow, this, you know, it's a performance. Now I have driven an X3M, uh, which is a type of competition to this SRT model. Uh, of course, you got the Mercedes-Benz GLC 63. Um, we also have, you know, the Audi SQ7, if I'm correct, I will compete with this. Now from America, from, uh, you know, domestic, we got the only thing that, that I know would be the Explorer ST, but obviously this is a little level up, especially with the V8, much more horsepower. Um, this is probably a little more, this is probably definitely much quicker. I don't know if it'll, how to handle it but uh of course this is a little bit heavier probably than the st explorer but uh, of course you got a lot more power too now let's go ahead and let's, i can see you can probably hear the the uh the brakes a little bit obviously there's a high performance brakes and it's wet so but let's go ahead guys and oh yeah oh yes that thought oh this is nice Pretty quick, pretty quick. Now something fell out there, I don't know what was that, but something definitely uh, fell out. But man, this thing feels nice. The suspension is, 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 is it's not stiff, stiff, but it does feel pretty nice though, to be honest. Very planted down. Um, the steering is pretty kind of pretty direct steering wheel. Now obviously the brakes, yes, we got some good brakes. You can definitely tell. Oh, wow this thing feels fun you can definitely tell this thing is just eager to have fun uh the suspension does feel nice and buttoned down settled um the brake has some good feel to it as well obviously they're squeaking a little bit those are probably the performance pads but uh wow this thing feels nice obviously everything's at your fingertips the gauges are nice everything's really really nice as you can see we reached 31 psi um but wow this thing feels fantastic i mean obviously this is not uh you know the latest and greatest that you know say a t-rex or something like that but uh still being the fourth gen you know jeep grand cherokee still feels very nice very well everything's you, know, you can tell the best, i mean that's not the best of quality say compared to the european competitors but still a very nice interior feels well well put together and i just love the combination of the of the um of all the carbon fiber and everything else is really really well done love this all this this especially this color with the with the aluminum and the carbon fiber and the black just really really works and jeep really did a good job with its interior and of course this guy is sitting here in the middle so i'm gonna have to go around this oh man this floor the drivers oh yes Ooh, the acceleration on this thing now we don't have a ton of gas i can't I have to save it for the spanish channel a little bit let's go ahead and put the windows up you can see guys automatic sorry if the uh the image might darken a little bit but wow this thing is just puts down the power especially that it's a little wet um just this four-wheel drive system is just fantastic this is a perfect type of setting and, and dampness for this type of all-wheel drive system especially with this power now at speed very comfortable the right you can tell the right is is, is stiff but it's comfortable it's not they did a good job because obviously this is not an easy road but it's not punishing and it's not like an x3m or like a bmw x5 where they can tell it's pretty harsh this has got the light right in the middle of a good performance suspension and the comfort of it as well but wow this thing just feels awesome Oof. and then we put it down and the brakes oh yeah the brakes oh yeah we got some plenty of good brakes don't know if they'll last a few laps on the track but obviously this is our heavy vehicles this is about 5100 pounds of SUV, so we got a lot of weight of the engine and everything but uh, man this thing feels good i mean wow this thing feels pretty planted steering is pretty direct i mean wow this thing feels pretty stable i mean wow wow this thing's impressive uh, of course this is you know everything's done you know suspension is sport tuned it got you know basically dampers that are you know um it's got uh, adjustable dampers you know you got this probably stiffer springs much more you know tuned shocks obviously i don't know if they mess with the sway bars or not i didn't see any reading I haven't read to full direct details on this thing but very nice very nice the way this just feels uh we're in we are in sport uh we're in sport mode as well but uh wow this thing just oh, this thing it feels uh, compared for example to the ford explorer st that i've driven this definitely has more torque this definitely has even though the explorer's got a lot of downward torque um 
it does have more torque than this uh but this thing just feels fantastic still i mean the power of the v8 there is no substitution for the noise of the v8 though so wow it's just impressive and of course you got all this performance meters you can do now obviously uh, something like this daily i mean unless you got a lot of cash and you can fill this thing up pretty 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 often i mean that's this is a fantastic daily for me it's comfortable enough to to daily drive it oof man this thing just wants to just it's like a banshee oof yes look at this oof wow <laughs> and of course we got what we kind of boost weather we got you know in the mid 50s so really really feels strong the acceleration the engine loves this type of cool weather oh man this thing is a thing is a this thing is a beast it just goes oh man it's, i love this thing this is the type of vehicle i would absolutely love to own even for daily now in terms of the handling this thing is pretty i mean you got 295 millimeter wide tires pretty scorpion tire which are pretty good tire um this thing just feels planted even though it's a big suv and you can tell a little bit of the weight but wow this thing is just feels so good uh wow just uh, it's amazing how you know the engineers can make such a heavy fast suv feel athletic you know down to play uh wow if we floor it down yeah this thing goes and the brakes oh yeah the stability there goes everything down I'm sorry guys but yeah it's got good strong braking very very oh wow this thing just it's fun what a fantastic SUV <laughs> just wanted to show you guys first time driving a Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT now of course I can just imagine the Hellcat version of this thing but this is actually the perfect power of course that one is going to be just much much quicker I think it's probably a little bit heavier but this thing is, feels pretty good the handling is nice the brakes feel fantastic the interior is awesome you got a lot of good performance uh, wow just impressive for this this this, this SRT Cherokee so let me know what you guys think of this type of SRT if somebody owns one let me know what you guys think um, love the way this feels very stable even though this one as i mentioned has 55,000 miles on it it doesn't really feel like it uh feels to me pretty pretty new i mean if i had the cash i would buy something like this for every day and get rid of my three series to be honest this is much this is definitely more more fun right. there we, go. Yes, we got now of course i got no plate i can't be crazy because my plate's inside here with me so but if we just give a little bit of time just easy power just being easy on it Easy shifts, just gets to 60 in no time. Wow, impressive, impressive SUV. Uh, obviously, I wish, you know, Jeep would build the gen next generation SRT, Jeep Grand Cherokee, but we know that's not coming, unfortunately. But if you can grab one of these guys, this is an awesome SUV. I love this color combination of the Stingray gray, the interior. This is awesome. 55,000 miles. Might seem quite a bit of a model like this, but still, to be honest, this thing is in good shape. The who who I don't know who was the former owner of this, but my hands up, my hats, my hats off to the the original owner taking very nice care of this this car. It's really really well taken care of, as you can see, uh, especially the interior. No no nowhere whatsoever in this interior. A little bit on the steering wheel, but nothing crazy. But let's go, it, guys. And oh man, this thing just wants to go. Those those Pirellis are just gripping the road. <laughs> All right, guys, so thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys have been enjoying this type of contact. If you haven't subscribed, guys, please subscribe. Help us, help us. We're, we're kind of very, very close to 1,000 subscribers. So if you guys have not done it, guys, I appreciate you subscribing. And I appreciate everybody who has subscribed so far. If you haven't done so, guys, please subscribe, support the channel. And uh, But awesome, awesome SUV, lots of good power. Now, of course, it's wet. I'm not going to push. The thing is not mine, you know, so, but very very oh this thing just feels awesome so for sixty thousand dollars we're asking for this it might be a little bit higher than i you know should be i think but uh you know especially with fifty five thousand miles it should be probably in uh it's not horrible but you know if it had maybe if this thing was like maybe 45 no i would say maybe even the 50s mid 50s it'll be one hell of a buy but um there we go the reverse camera guys you can see so all right guys fantastic engine fantastic four-wheel drive system lots of grip lots of fun lots of good space in this love this type of size of suv sixty thousand dollars i think 55 low in the lower 50s you definitely have my deal on it but um let me know what you guys think thank you so much for watching you guys have a fantastic day and we'll see you on the next video thanks so much Bye bye